Okay, joining us are the two captains for the women's team of the COVID Cross Country Classic that the Bruins are hosting later this week. Um, we have Emma Moon and Ashley Vandentop with us. Um, you guys elected to not do a draft, but you do have your teams set. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw up the two team rosters here on the screen real quick. Okay, so Ashley, um, with your roster looking the way that it does, how do you guys feel you have a chance to stack up uh, when you guys get on the track later this week? Um, I think we have a lot of girls who have had a lot of years in running, which will be really valuable. Um, and we also have a good amount of um, people who've run in college. We only have two or three freshmen, so it'll be really good um, because we can encourage them and help them with their first um, race experience without too many extra nerves that a normal race brings. And then Emma, um, by my count, you have a few more returners on your side of the roster than uh, Ashley's roster does, but I, I know that it's a good blend as well for you. How do you feel about your chances? Um, I feel pretty good. I think we have a, like a strong group of like pretty level-headed people who aren't going to do anything wild and crazy. We'll just go out and race hard, and I think it'll be good. I think it is kind of helpful to have more returners, but also have the freshmen mixed in because we have some people with experience, but also some fresh, fresh minds. What does it mean for you guys to have the chance to compete and bond a little bit this way with the event coming up? Ashley, can we start with you? Yeah, um, I think just missing out on track was definitely a big deal. And so to have our season canceled at the last minute was, you know, we were looking to do the same thing where we didn't get to race. So having the chance to see how strong our team is um, by itself without any outside competition will be really exciting. Emma, what do you think this will will do for you guys as a group? I just think that we all put in a lot of time and hard work over the summer. So it's really nice to be able to have a chance to show that hard work. And I think this way we'll get to like really push each other to be our best rather than like having to rely on outside competition. Yeah, I, I would totally agree that uh, Inner Squad will give you a great opportunity for that. Emma, <laughs> Emma, what about your strength for your team? Well, I think that my funny strength is that I definitely have the shorter team of the two. We have, there's like three taller girls on the team and they're all on her team and all the shorter people on my team. So I think that's funny strength because they can block the wind for us, but I don't know how helpful it really will be. You know, as a, a former high school sprinter with zero collegiate success as a track athlete, I'm not sure. Uh, but I imagine being able to draft even in the two mile distance is probably an advantage. That's Ashley, what do you think about for. this? I think, uh, you know, we have the height on them. Our average <laughs> height's a little taller, so maybe that'll equal longer legs and faster times. <laughs> okay, so stride versus drafting ability. Yep. Uh, all right. Well, we'll see which one comes out on top. And then, Ashley, who do you think um, will get the better kick out of their group? And who do you think has more of a, a rabbit? Oh. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I'd say like the top two people on both teams are kind of going to be vying for the spot of winning the race. So we'll see. I think it's going to be pretty close. Emma, how about you? Um, I'd have to agree. I think our teams are pretty equal as they can get based off of what I've seen of people so far. So yeah, I'm really curious to see who kind of steps up when the time comes. All right, well, we'll be excited to watch as well. Can't wait to uh, get to watch you guys compete later this Friday. Uh, that's September 11th. You guys are going to get to race under the lights. And so uh, we wish you the best of luck in the inner squad, and we look forward to seeing who comes out on top. Obviously, with bonding being the ultimate goal, but uh, it's always fun to compete.